the reason we felt the need to establish the Middle East Research Center was because of our experience in the Middle East. We have been engaging with lots of different public and private sector firms in the Middle East for a while now. And what we discovered over the years was that a lot of the content that uh, a lot of business schools, if not all, uh, were using in their engagements in the Middle East was really developed in the West and uh, around content that had been developed in the West. So there was very little content, research, case studies, uh, insights, knowledge, uh, which was really truly customized to the Middle East. So that was really the motivation which uh, got us going. And so what we are doing now is engaging a lot more, not just in terms of teaching people in the Middle East, European or American-based case studies, but really developing completely new content which is deeply entrenched in the realities of Middle Eastern business and the economy. The Middle East faces a number of unique challenges, uh, ranging from the dependency on oil, and these days, of course, the declining price um, uh, of oil, uh, to a unique socio-economic um, milieu or uh, environment, um, to sometimes a politically turbulent, um, you know, sort of regional uh, um, dynamics. There are also uh, tremendous opportunities, of course. There are lots and lots of companies in the Middle East who have done exceptionally well and they have globalized uh, successfully. But at the same time, I think there are lots of opportunities that await uh, many other companies from the Middle East who are looking to globalize. I think the Middle East Research Center will help these businesses uh, make most of these opportunities and challenges by developing insights unique to their um, uh, particular challenges and uh, opportunities. For example, uh, how to globalize out of the Middle East, how to attract um, a world-class labor force or uh, human resource, um, how to take Islamic finance global, um, and so on. We have already developed a number of different uh, case studies which we are going to be using in our various programs um, soon. In fact, we are already using some of these. Uh, they range from uh, different companies uh, operating in the Middle East. Uh, they also are based on, some of them are also based on public sector firms in the Middle East, so issues of innovation in the public sector, issues of managing operations, for example, at Doha Airport, um, how to set up high-tech uh, technology parks, um, uh, human resource practices when multinationals come in and operate, um, to what extent are they able to bring their uh, human resource protocols into the Middle East and what implications all that uh, has. And again, as I said before, in uh, Islamic finance, uh, the various challenges and opportunities that await. So we have case studies already on you know, all of these issues, and we are looking to develop many, many more. We have also commissioned uh, a lot of research studies. Some of it, once again, touches upon Islamic finance um, and why certain banks, for example, are doing better uh, than others in globalizing, in getting out of the Middle East, uh, in attracting uh, market share. And um, we are also looking at um, both companies that have successfully uh, globalized and uh, perhaps not so successfully attempted to globalize and trying to learn lessons from all of these. We want to expand our uh, capacity and we want to do a lot more in terms of content development in the Middle East and we want to engage and uh, perhaps build bridges with various uh, institutions within the Middle East and including private sector, public sector uh, firms and other um, uh, perhaps educational institutions in order to become um, a key base for knowledge development on the Middle Eastern region.